HGZ Army, what's going on? Mr. HGZ here bringing you a Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. This time it's a single battle on Uber Day or whatever Wednesdays where there's no rules or whatever. It doesn't matter what you bring. Wolf is who my opponent is. He's bringing in that Goliath score. He's got the Kyurem, got the Xerneas, got the Eveltal, Zekrom, and Garchomp. Yeah, buddy, those are all strong. All right, and I'm bringing in... My own Dark Rive got my Ferrothorn, Ditto, Suicune, Charizard, and yeah, buddy, Quagmire. Aw, oh, giggity, 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 or Quagsire, whatever, your choice. Um, looking forward to a great battle here with Wolf. How does it turn out? One way to find out, that's to get straight into it. So here we go now in our battle with Wolf. Get some epic music by Glitch City. This is Team Aqua Magma Boss Battle Remix. Here we go. Wolf is issuing a challenge, ready to go. Sends out Garchomp to begin. So Garchomp comes out. Nice and shiny. We're going to go ahead and send out Darkrai. Darkrai, nice and shiny as well. Get a little purple hint to us. Um, he's going to Mega Evolve. And it's a Girl Chomp. Look at that. It's pink. Ready to go. Ugh. <laughs> um, he's going to go ahead and run Dark Point. I miss. What? Here comes Dragon Rush. Dragon Rush. Yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing. Takes me down to 44 HP. I'm going to go ahead and run Dark Point. This time it's going to hit. And this time, it's going to finally allow for me to set up. Uh, it makes me worried, though. I'm wondering if I'm actually going to be able to use it or not. And when I say be able to use it, am I able to use it effectively? Because I might not now, you know? Because, um, yeah, not no bueno here. No bueno here. Now, I am fortunately, fortunately able to do a little bit of something, you know. We're, we're going to go ahead and get bad dreams here. Get that uh, nasty plot off. And we're going to actually attack now just to make sure. Just to make sure he doesn't absolutely destroy us. Um, and wake up. Because that could happen. That could happen. So here we go. Kyurem's coming in next. We can take on this Kyurem. We actually ran Focus Blast. Because that would have been super effective. However, it becomes Focus Mess. And we take this Dragon Claw and that's going to knock us out. So Dark Rife faints, unfortunately for us. And, yeah, we're going to send out, yeah, buddy, Quagmire, or Quagsire. Oh, giggity, giggity, giggity. We're going to take the Psychic Attack. Oh, my goodness, it's going to take us down to 149. We're going to go ahead and get this Stockpile, which is going to raise our defense and special defense. So we're at plus, um, plus one now on each. Um, so, yeah, doing good. Get a little bit left. He's recovering. Here comes an Ice Beam. So Ice Beam is a thing. It's going to hit us. It's going to take us down to 106. We're going to go ahead and get another Stockpile. Uh, get these Stockpiles off while we get this chance. Quasar's defense is going to raise. Special defense is going to raise. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and raise our defense up. Here comes the lefties. And now comes Ice Beam. Ice Beam is going to hurt. It's going to hurt. It takes us down to 78. We're going to run another Stockpile. So now we've got three Stockpiles. And... We're, we're in a we're in a pretty good position now. We are, we are, we are. So we're gonna get a little bit of lefties here. Take us up to 90 health, and he's gonna run Dragon Claw now. Get that stab Dragon Claw. It's gonna go ahead and drop me down to 57 HP. But now we can get our recovers with with all of our um, with all of our stockpiles. We're gonna be in a good position now. So get that recovery with lefties as well. Oh yeah, here comes an Ice Beam. Trying to get that freeze on me. I know that's what he's doing. I know that's what he's doing. Takes us down to 137 HP. We're going to recover all the way up to full now. So, bam. Up to full now. Now we're ready to do something. Here comes a Shadow Claw. Shadow Claw is going to drop us down to 184. We're going to go ahead and get a Power Up Punch now. And, you know, it's super effective. It doesn't do much, though, if you notice that. However, our attack raises. Notice that our attack raises. We're going to go ahead and get those um, lefties. And here goes an Ice Beam against us. Now, Ice Beam is a stab attack for him. That's probably why it does more damage than, in my opinion, it should. We're going to go ahead and get another power-up punch. And that's going to be super effective and do a lot more, obviously, because it's a crit. But also, you know what? It works. It works. It works. It works. So, um, we're going to go ahead and recover a little bit more with lefties. Here comes another Ice Beam from Kiro. I'm very surprised he has not withdrawn because what he's doing is he's allowing me to set up. And I can't tell y'all enough. Do not allow someone to set up. If you've got a poke in the back that can come in and provide a better challenge, do it as soon as possible. Because if not, somebody's just going to sit in, take your attacks, and power up like I am doing in this situation. We're down to 103 HP, and now I'm going to recover. So, all giggity. 
Quagsire. Yeah, buddy. About to own. So here comes an Ice Beam. Ice Beam's not going to do much. Takes down to 165. Here comes another Power Up Punch. Bam. That's going to be more than enough to take out the Kiram. Super effective. And I'm going to get my attackers. I think we're at plus four now. And Kiram goes down. So, yeah. <laughs> that's all I got to say. Yeah, buddy. Here we go. Going to take that recovery. And Gliscor is going to come out now. So now we got Gliscor to deal with here. He's going to run Guillotine. We fortunately avoid the attack and get this Waterfall. Waterfall is going to come in and do massive amounts of damage against Gliscor and take it out. And, you know, it does help that we've got all our uh, buffs. Not a buffs. Yeah, I'll call it buffs. Why not? Power-ups. We are going to go ahead and take lefties up to 189, so nearly to full health. And next comes Eveltal. Eveltal is going to use... It's radiating Dark Aura. It's going to use Dark Pulse on us. Trying to get that flinch. It's going to hit us. Take us down to 138. Here comes my Waterfall. Waterfall is going to do quite a bit of damage. Not enough to take it out, but quite a bit of damage. Consider. So here comes Lefty. He's going to bring us up to 150 health. And here comes another Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse is going to take us from 150 down to 96. I flinch, so I couldn't move. I am going to get Lefty's recovery. So now I'm like, oh crap. If I flinch out, I'm going to lose my Quagmire. My, my, my man. Don't do it! This is down to 51. Thankfully, that's it. We're going to recover here. Recover is going to allow for us to heal up to 158. And we're going to get a little bit of lefties. Lefty, lefty, lefties. Takes us up to 170. Now we're in a really good position. Now here comes Oblivion Wing. A good attack that's going to allow him to recover some of his health. Takes us down to 137. He's going to recover not that much, just below half health. So we're going to go ahead and waterfall. And see if we can take out this Eveltal being nasty with us and just beating us down and we do take out the Eveltal finally I apologize for that that's my dog barking it up and she's extremely happy because I believe the Jeezy D Jeezy just got home um, so yeah we're gonna go ahead and watch as she brings in Xerneas now Xerneas coming in with fairy aura we're gonna go ahead and run Moonblast but we're gonna go ahead and eat this Moonblast off and Moonblast is gonna take us down to 82 HP but it drops our special attack not that it matters because my Quagmire happens to have um, physical attacks, so it works out. Works out. We're going to go ahead and get a little bit of recovery here. As you can see there, yeah, buddy. And we're going to eat up another Moonblast. So here comes the Moonblast. It's going to damage us. And we're going to go ahead and run Waterfall on the Xerneas to finish it off. Now, with as much HP as I have left, the question is, is will I survive another attack? Well, first we're getting lefties. I'm up to 43 damage, or 43 HP, so whatever comes in has to be able to do 43 damage or more to knock out my Quagmire, my Aw Giggity. Bursting Aura, here comes Outrage. Oh my goodness, it's Outrage from Zekrom! And I survive with 3 HP. Here comes my recovery. Bam, up to 104 in health. And oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Quagmire is a boss if you aren't ready for him. Here comes another Outrage. Um, but as we just saw, it's going to do barely 30. Now, Zekrom is confused, so um, yeah. We're going to go ahead and run Recovery to recover our health here. Just in case. And yeah, get Lefty. So now we're pretty much at full health. Pretty much. We're in a very, very good position now. Zekrom's gonna is confused. He's gonna go ahead and hurt himself. And we're gonna help him along the way now. We're gonna go ahead and run waterfall on this Zekrom and do a decent chunk of damage. Decent. Not great, but decent. So we're gonna get lefties, and that's gonna pull us up to full health. So Quagmire, Aw Giggity's doing it for us, doing it for us. Zekrom hurting himself and confusing, giving us a chance. Here comes another waterfall against Zekrom. Zekrom losing it losing it and he's confused that's fine that's fine that's fine here comes a attack on himself and we're gonna finish him off with a waterfall and that's gonna be good game great battle it was amazing taking on all these ubers yeah I brought my uh, dark ride but he didn't do much but this quagmire on the other hand did his job took out wolf's legendaries it was, it was just awesome awesome battle Anyways, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, share the video, and remember, 
The road may be rough, but the journey will be unforgettable. Until next time, Jay-Z Army, catch them all. Later.